Yeah, we're going to talk a little bit about um, how to get some more rhythm into your playing. Um, so we're going to think about um, a rhythm that you'd find uh, in music from all over the world. Uh, it's a rhythm that you can trace all the way back to really old African music, um, but you find it in like every single continent really. And um, that rhythm has a, a Spanish name which is called clave. Um, so clave, you have lots of different claves depending on different um, kind of uh, musical cultures, but um, the clave we're going to look at is called a son clave. Um, and a son clave is made up of five notes. Um, so we're going to learn it, um, we're going to learn the song clave that starts like this. So it's going to go. So that starts on uh, the first beat of the bar, if we're thinking in 4-4, four, four, or we are thinking in 4-4, four, four, um, and we're thinking in eighth notes or quavers. So we're thinking 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. So one thing you do is just learn to clap that. Um, what we do, we're going to clap through it a few times, um, so you guys can just kind of get that in your ears to start off with. Um, here we go. One, two, three, four. Cool. So, you might have noticed we've got three notes at the beginning in the first bar. One and two and three and four. And then in the second bar, we've got two notes. One and two and three and four. Um, so we're going to try now swapping those rounds. So we, we're going to, instead of it being three and then two, we're going to try starting two and then three. So it's going to be like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Cool. So we'll try clapping through that so you guys can have a go as well. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and 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 so what we're going to do a little bit now is just to think about how you can internalise those rhythms. So, um, you know, being able to hear them and being able to clap along with them, that's a really good starting point. But then we want to kind of think about like, how we can feel them and not have to necessarily think about and count them so much. Um, so a couple of ways we can kind of internalise them a bit better um, is to try... Um, we're going to try clapping another rhythm while we sing the clave. Okay, so first thing we're going to do, we're just going to try and clap quarter notes while we sing the clave. And for all these, we're going to try three and then two. So you can do them both way around, but um, we're just going to do three, two for these ones. So it's going to be, uh, our clapping is going to go one, two, three, four. One, two, three. And then we're going to sing the clave. Ba, 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 ba. Try that a couple of times so you guys can have a go as well. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Brilliant. Okay, we're going to make it a little bit more tricky now. So we're going to try only clapping on some of those notes. So we're going to clap on the first beat and on the third beat this time. So it's going to go like this. Ba, 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 ba. We're going to try that so you can have a go. One, two, three, four. Ba, 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 Brilliant, okay. Uh, and one last thing we're going to try with that is just changing, displacing that slightly. So we're going to clap on B 
beat two and beat four this time. So our clapping is going to be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So if we put those together, it's going to be ba, 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 ba. Cool. We'll try clapping through that so you guys can have a go. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Ba, 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 ba. Brilliant. All right. So this is the starting point, um, but you know, I don't know. You know. Not many of us have gigs where we just get to clap and um, say things. So you kind of got to learn how to do it on your instrument as well. So um, I guess coming from from a drumming perspective, uh, you know, it might be just thinking about how to orchestrate that. Uh, on different parts of the kit. You can put them, split them between two voices. And then you can incorporate, you know, more than two voices into that. Um, another thing this uh, kind of internalizing these sort of rhythms is really useful for is if you're a comping instrument. So, um, kind of having a, a really uh, definitive rhythm to uh, kind of underpin all your uh, comping can be really useful. Um, so what we're going to try, me and Andy are just going to try uh, comping and we're just going to play uh, on, just on D minor and we're going to use this rhythm for our comping. So to start off with, first thing we're going to try is playing all the notes in that clave. So we're going to pl uh, play every single note. Um, yeah, and just do it a few times round. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> That's a really good starting point to kind of um, starting to think about comping. Um, so maybe the next step is, you know, only to use some of those parts of the rhythm. You could leave out some notes from that. Um, and for horn players, this is also like a really, really good way to kind of think about getting some more rhythm into your playing. So you could use this in your solos, maybe try and uh, whatever form it is or whatever um, kind of song you're playing, you know, take that rhythm and try and incorporate that into your solo. You know, just stick to that rhythm and make it fit. Um, but there you go, that's some ideas for getting some more rhythm into your playing. <laughs> 